Hello and welcome to the dynamic data log recording training video. Today I'm going to show you how to perform and view a dynamic data log recording with the Texa IDC5 software. So a dynamic data log recording allows you to perform a recording of the vehicle fault codes and parameters without the need for the laptop to be connected to the vehicle. You can record multiple eight hour trips of data and then view them later on in the shop environment. This allows you to catch intermittent issues or faults that only occur very rarely. So the way we're going to set this up is we're going to go to the parameter screen. You can see we are connected to an international max force engine here. And then we're going to go down to the favorite parameters tab here at the bottom. Now we're going to want to pull up the list of parameters that we want to record in the list here. You can see we have all the pressures pulled up. And then we're going to want to click the dynamic data log recording icon at the bottom. So now we're going to set up the device for recording. Before we do that, let's go to the help icon and it's going to give us the guide on exactly how to set it up uh, if you want more information on it. Uh, but the software is actually going to take us through it, so we'll go ahead and go into it. So first thing is it's going to have us put in the vehicle plate number. So we'll just make up a plate number here and click OK. And then it's going to transfer the configuration to the TXT box. So now you're going to get a message that the configuration has completed successfully. And we'll click OK. And now we're actually disconnected from the software. So now we can remove the laptop and the TXT box is going to perform its recording of the vehicle. So now as long as the key to the vehicle is in the on position, the TXT box will perform its recording. We can verify the recording is working by the green LED on the TXT will be blinking. So I'm going to let the vehicle run for a little bit here and then we're going to hook back up to it and then I'll show you how to view the recording. So now what we're going to do to view our data log recording is we're going to hook back up to the vehicle. So we're going to key on and we're going to get connected back to the vehicle. So we're going to start and confirm. And then the software is going to recognize that there's a recording inside of the TXT box. So there it's showing us that there's a recording inside the TXT and we can click to save it. And then you can see it's going to process the recording. So now we can click the green arrow to view it. So from this screen, we can see the duration of the recording and the number of errors that it recorded. So we can click this fault code icon down here at the bottom and we can view the fault codes and we can open them up and see if they were active, inactive. And then we'll go back and we can go in and we can actually look at the parameters that were recorded as well. So we click on this little eye icon and then we can pick up to a maximum of eight parameters and click the green check mark. And then it's going to show our data log recording of the parameters. And you can see in here, here is our data log recording where we revved up the engine. So you can go in and take it in a shop later on and view your data log recording. And if you need to, you can print that out as well. So we can also do one other thing. Um, we can actually export this file in a CSV format. 
So if you click the little icon down here, we can export it and save that as a CSV file. And then we can open that up in other programs like Excel if you want to. And that concludes the dynamic data log recording training video. Thank you and have a nice day.